G'day, Lee Blackall here with a uh, screen recording on how to locate freely reusable images uh, from the internet. So images that you can comfortably um, reuse in your PowerPoint presentations or your handouts or whatever you're doing as a teacher. Where I go, and there are many other places, but this is the most successful for me, successful for me is flickr.com, that's f-l-i-c-k-r.com slash creative commons. And what that is, is a database of images loaded to the Flickr service, which quite a few million people are loading their photos to there. And some of them are licensing their photos, Creative Commons, uh, variations of Creative Commons, which basically means you're free to reuse these so long as you give attribution to the original creator of the image. Now in the page you see that there are numbers of variations to Creative Commons. The first one in the list is Attribution License. It's the most liberal. basically means you can reuse the images in this database, of which there are 1,460,835 photos to reuse with, uh, without any other uh, restrictions, except to give attribution. The next one is Attribution and Equivalent to which means, or no, no derivatives, which means you're free to reuse these photos but you can't change them in any way. The next one is um, attribution, you can't make any money, so non-commercial and no derivatives equivalent to. And then the next one is attribution, no commercial, and this one's interesting. Attribution, no commercial, and if you use this, you must, the changes you make must be licensed back to Creative Commons under the exact same license as this. And same again, attribution and share alike is you know, if you re reuse these images, you have to share them back. So I choose to search the most liberal one, meaning I just have to give attribution. Here a preview of the latest five that are uploaded, and we go see more. And here there's a preview of the latest, I don't know, 20 or 30 or so that have loaded and I use the search here. Now this searches what the users have tagged their pictures with. Tag words describe their pictures. So if we take this picture of the girl on the beach for example, that could be tagged beach, girl, bikini, sunset, the name of the girl, a whole number of tag words the author could have put there. So I'll just put in a search for, I don't know, well let me see, um, I don't know. <laughs> I should have thought about this beforehand. Let me see, maybe Dunedin. Seeing that's where I am at the moment. And there's a list of pictures. Oh, lo and behold, there's one by me. And there's one by Philip C. And the list goes on and on. There's quite a bit by me. I do license all my pictures, Creative, Con creative Commons attribution only. Let's do another search. Let's do for Otago Polytechnic. Sure, if I've tagged it. my pictures for a tiger, yes, I do tag my pictures at Tiger Polytechnic, and that's just me there. What else have we got? Uh, I don't know, New Zealand. Um, should I do one word or two? I might go two. Let's see what happens. Okay, there's clearly pictures of New Zealand coming through, and quite a few. Okay, so just to rehash, what we do is we go to flickr.com. Creative Commons. Choose the licensed photo that you, the type of licensed photos you're looking for. I go for the most liberal attribution license only, and click See More, and then search for the pictures you're looking for. So that's how to locate pictures licensed Creative Commons, which means that you can reuse them now. Oh, oh. Okay, I probably should go. Let's say we wanted to use this picture here. Now what I do, uh, there's no f hard and fast rule on how to attribute the original author except that you have to use their name. And, and let's say I was to use this photograph in one of my handouts. What I would do is I'd place the photograph and then I would go up here, up to the address bar, and I would copy the address of that photograph page. Copy that and just put that at the bottom of the picture and so that when I get the handout as somebody who's new to all of this um, and I see the picture and I see attribution to that link this photo source is this link then I can for myself go to this picture and then I'm into this user's pictures and can browse all the other pictures so I think that's good enough attribution myself uh, otherwise you'd have to use these funny names here some people don't use their real name and stuff like that so just the link and that's about it sourcing pictures creative commons